hello guys welcome back to my channel again so today is we are going to set up a, a wordpress website with our goodeddy hosting manually okay so this is my hosting so let's connect a primary domain to my hosting okay so i connected a primary domain to my hosting let's choose a, a, this area and don't configure the wordpress not now okay so what we do uh, we just configure a primary domain to our uh, starter godaddy hosting and then we choose a location of our uh, basically a, a hosting hosting uh, server and then we we are not going to configure the wordpress automatically so uh, in the next process we are going to configure the wordpress that that uh, i have a i have my best wordpress website that that is that is developed on my local system okay so let's open the cpanel okay so this is this is the cpanel from where we can we can manage uh, the uh, starter godaddy hosting and let's open the domains and this is my file manager go to the bab root public html www where we have to upload the files and uh, this is my dns i have a three domains here so i have connected the women uh, wealth women dot asia with my hosting so this is uh, this is my file manager and we have uh, some default files here so let's uh, upload my uh, wordpress backup that uh, i already developed a wordpress website on my local system okay so i have a i have a gif file of the whole website so this is my uh, website let's upload this it will take some time as per your internet speed okay okay so uploaded uh, successfully uh, let's close this tab okay okay so uh, these are my default files so i can i can move these default files into a backup folder or a dummy folder so let's create a folder here dummy back okay and uh, this is my dummy bag and you can see uh, I have a GIF file also that I already uploaded right now okay so let's move these files uh, to my dummy backup folder so I have to move move these files so let's give the location public.html my my root directory and dummy back is the directory where from uh, where we have to move okay this is my GIF file so let's extract this GIF file to access the files of the, my WordPress and uh, uh, template okay so we have to use the extract options and I have to extract my root uh, okay so these are the my files let's copy all these files on my root okay so let's select all these uh, files in directories okay so either you can move or copy these files to your uh, root so I have to uh, I am doing the copy so that uh, i have a i have a, a backup file on my uh, server also okay so these are the my wordpress files with uh, pre-configured template and all those things and this is my database files so i have to create a, a mysql database so this is my php my admin uh, we can we can close this uh, tab so yeah this this is my php my admin as you can see i have a one default database here uh, let's download uh, this sql file this is my script of the database so let's save this script on my system okay okay so this is my wordpress config file from where we can see the username and password and the name of the database so let's go to the edit of this file and from here i can i can see the database name so database name is v the woman 
be the woman and the database username is root and password is null okay so these are the configuration of my local system uh, okay so you can see uh, there is a there is only one one database here so i have to create a one more database uh, that with the name of uh, we the woman actually okay so we don't have a uh, privileges of creating the database from the php my admin so i have to use the uh, my uh, cpanel so let's cre create a new database first okay so let's create a database with the woman uh, okay so database is successfully created and i can i can only create one database with my starter hosting so you will get uh, the red flag over there and uh, you will when you are refreshing your uh, php my admin you will get the database so this is the red flag which which we are i am talking about okay so let's create a new username and password also to access this database okay so the username and the create a very secure password for your database let's create this user okay and now you have to add this user with your database so that the database access this uh, the, this this user can access that particular database also only okay so you have to provide the, some privileges so i am providing here the all the privileges make changes okay so i have created a database and uh, uh, created a user and also provide the privileges so let's import the script so let's browse the script here okay so this is my script uh, let's upload this script into my database okay so now my database script is uploaded database backup is uploaded into my database so let's change the wp config because wp config contains contains the 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 default configurations of my local system so i have to configure all the configurations of my uh, hosting hosting panel so let's access the uh, uh, we, we the woman asia so error is establishing connection is error okay so i have to i have to reconfigure the wp config so let's let's make this file a backup file dot pack and wordpress will automatically create a new one with the new uh, configurations so let's move this uh, refresh this again so this is the uh, configuration page setup configuration page so let's choose english let's go okay so now i have to enter the database name username password database host so all those things i can i can get from here so the database name is we the woman so i can copy we the woman from here okay and the username and the password the very secure password which i provided uh, with the username of the of my okay so uh, the the prefix is the we here so i have to change the wp from the we okay so we okay let's submit so i don't need to run the installation because i have already uh, database files uh, database uh, all the database configuration in my database so let's just refresh so as you can i see uh, my url is changed into the local host. so i have to change the uh, database options in my database so let's move to the php my admin go to the we underscore options you will you can see the wp underscore options okay and change the url and short url of the of the of your website basically from uh, editing you can edit uh, the site url and the home okay so let's click on go to save this changes then again the home url okay so let's go okay now you can you can again type your url here and your website is successfully configured on the godaddy starter hosting manually so i hope i hope uh, you get 
uh, overall idea how to configure the WordPress website manually on the starter hosting and how to configure the domain with the with the video starter hostings so thanks thanks for watching bye bye take care see you in the next video